Welcome to MDRASA. I am Mr. Kerry and I lecture uh, business mathematics at ATD level. Uh, today, I want to take you through a topic in index numbers known as uh, a topic in business mathematics known as index numbers. Index numbers. So, I want us to start right away. An index number is a statistical, an index number is a statistical measure. It is a statistical measure that is used to measure a variable, that is used to measure a variable or a group of variables or a group of variables which are related, or a group of variables which are related under different situations, under different situations or time periods, or time periods. Full stop. Below that you write simple index numbers. Simple index numbers. Then you write below that. It is a ratio of two values. It is a ratio of two values. Representing the same variable. Representing the same variable. Representing the same variable. But measured. But measured in two different situations or periods, but measured in two different situations or periods. Full stop. After that, we have weighted index numbers. Before we turn, let's look at composite index numbers. Composite index numbers. These are index numbers. These are index numbers. These are index numbers that measure the average relative changes. That measure the average relative changes in a group of relative variables in a group of relative variables in respect to in respect to the base price index the base price index full stop a good example of a composite index number, a good example of a composite index number is a consumer price index, is a consumer price index. Then from there, you write weighted index numbers. Weighted index numbers. Then you write. These are index numbers. These are index numbers. That use the current and the base period weights that use the current and the base period weights to determine to determine the changes of two variables to determine 
the changes of two variables, such as price or quantity, such as price or quantity. Then from there, you write these index numbers include, these index numbers include number one, pastures, 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 index number, pastures, index number. Then you write below that. It uses the current period prices or weights. It uses the current period prices or weights to determine It uses the current period prices or weights to determine the changes, to determine the changes of a variable. It is computed as follows. Pastures price, pastures price index is equal to summation of P1, Pn, Qn over summation of P0, Q0. Sorry, Q1. Then you express it as a percentage by multiplying by 100. You express it as a percentage by multiplying by 100. Then Pastures quantity index is equal to summation of uh, that uh, summation of Pn Qn over summation of uh, Pn Q naught. Then you express it as a percentage again. That is the pastures price index. Then from there we proceed on to the other weighted index number. Which is the last pairs index number. Last pairs index number. Then you write below that. It uses the base period prices or weights. It uses the base period prices or weights to measure changes in variables. It is calculated as follows. Last year's price index is equal to summation of P1 Q0 over summation of P0 Q0. You can use this one as N. Then you express it as a percentage. Last year's quantity index is equal to summation of uh, Q no, uh, summation of P naught QN over summation of P naught Q naught. 
then you express it as a percentage. Then from there, we have another type of index known as the Fisher's Ideal Index. Fisher's Ideal Index. Fisher's Ideal Index. It is used to measure, it is used as a measure, which is a compromise between, which is a compromise between the pastures and the raspiers index. It is computed as follows. Fisher's ideal index. Fisher's ideal index. Fisher's Ideal Index. It is the square root of summation over P1, Q0, over summation of P0, Q0, times summation of P1, Q1, over summation of P0, Q0, Q1. Then you take the square root. Then, of course, you express it as a percentage. Then, finally, there is the last one which is called the Marshalls, Edgeworth. Edgeworth Index. Marshall's Edgeworth Index. It is a weighted relative index. It is a weighted relative index. It is a weighted relative index. Of the current period to base period set of prices. Of the current period to base period set of prices. It, it uses the arithmetic average. It uses the arithmetic average. Of the current and base quantities. Of the current and base quantities as a current and base quantities for weighting purposes for weighting purposes Marshall's Edgeworth Marshall's Edgeworth index is equal to summation of P1 Q0 plus summation of P1 Q1 over P0 you can use n if you are able to me a 1 Q0 plus summation of P0 Q1 Qn then you express it as a percentage So when you are talking of N, we are referring to the current prices or quantities. When you are talking of not or zero, we are referring to the base prices or the base quantities. Therefore, basically, ladies and gentlemen, that is the introduction to the topic of index numbers.
So in our next class, we'll now move on to the computation part of it, whereby we are going now to deal with these index numbers uh, in a practical scenario. So up to such time, have a nice time.